We measured psychological distress um, with the Kessler 6, which is a um, non-specific measure of um, distress, uh, generalised distress, and it can um, pick up on some symptoms that um, might be antecedents to d mental health diagnoses, so that's um, you know, generalised anxiety or um, major depression or something like that. Um, our other measure that we used was a culturally um, specific tool um, called the multi-dimensional model of Māori identity and cultural engagement and we used um, a measure called Māori cultural efficacy. That refers to um, the way that Māori can engage in their culture, so the way that Māori understand um, how to speak te reo or um, tikanga Māori, which is our protocols, our customs, um, concepts of whanaunatanga, um, wairua, all that kind of stuff within te ao Māori, which is the Māori world. Um, we did our study on soul identifying and mixed Māori Europeans. The reason um, we looked at these two different groups is because um, a lot of the research in the past has homogenised Māori and treated us, uh, treated us as if we're just one group, um, one people, when really um, we're quite a diverse people and we're living in a colonised reality so we have to understand the forces of colonisation and assimilation um, with reference to different Māori experiences. I am a Māori woman <laughs> and um, this research is um, it's fundamental to come from a Māori perspective and um, the kaupapa really is to do something meaningful for Māori and something that you know, a lot of the research that's coming out is stuff that we as Māori already know. It's about validating our perspective and um, kind of letting our voice be out there in, in the realm of research and ultimately out in the public to uh, promote some change. Going along with the kaupapa that um, our culture is our cure or is a protective resource, um, we found that people with higher levels of cultural efficacy um, had more psychological resilience, so that's lower levels of psychological distress. Um, it's really important to validate that finding because, you know, um, we controlled for things like uh, deprivation and gender and age and employment status. And despite all those things, um, culture, having being engaged in Māori culture um, really was a protective and buffering um, part of you know not having to deal with the adversity of psychological distress. The importance with our findings was that um, that high level of cultural efficacy was present for both mixed Māori Europeans and for soul identifying Māori. However, um, whether you had a high or low level didn't change much for mixed Māori Europeans. We think that this might be because um, mixed Māori Europeans are able to access uh, resources within the um, Pākehā society as well as Māori society, or maybe just Pākehā society, which might be different to people who solely identify as Māori. Um, what we found with soul identifying Māori is people with a low level of cultural efficacy, so that's, um, you know, less ability to uh, engage in te ao Māori. Um, they had um, a 0.5 difference in psychological distress. Now the K6 only ranges from 0 to 4, so a point, well, nearly a 0.5 difference can really tip you over whether you're going to get a diagnosis further along the track. So um, yeah, that finding was quite um, something that we were concerned about and that, you know, it, it does validate that culture is a really important resource for, um, for Māori to to have for our well-being. This research validates um, a perspective that Māori have held for a very long time. It's a long-standing idea that our culture is our cure. We know that. Um, it's important that we validate it through, um, you know, getting our participants, our data from nationally representative sources, you know, um, across the nation. We've tried to um, have a data set that reflects who Māori are um, in all our di diversity. We did only look at soul, um, soul identifying Māori and mixed Māori Europeans, but um, validating that culture is a really um, important protective resource for our psychological health, that's something that, um, it's a drop in the ocean, but it's a big ocean, and <laughs> as long as we are contributing something and um, 
kind of making it more visible and making people more aware of what Māori need, um, you know, I think that's worth it.